Hey guys, this video is brought to you in part by Porofessor. Now what is Porofessor? It's an in-game app designed to give you an edge on your opponents by showing the information needed to win each game. It shows the stats of your allies and enemies, lists what to build on the champion you're playing, and provides worldwide comparative stats powered by League of Graphs. If you want to win more games, download Porofessor for free by clicking the link in the description of this video. Oh shit! Recording. Rip. Okay, so get this. This lane is Pike Jin versus Thresh Senna. They've got a lot of CC in the bot lane. She's actually running Glacial as well. Uh, we've got to watch out level one being a uh, one melee, one range champion versus two range champions. Senna range is pretty high. I think they nerfed it down to what 625 to start out because 650 was too much. Or it's always been that way. She's just scaled at a high range. I don't remember. Either way. The only way we can trade level 1 is if we get a hook onto somebody off to the side that is out of position a little bit. Other than that, we're going to play for level 2, level 3. Um, first item in this game, we've probably got to go tanky this game. We've got plenty of damage on the team. We just need to be able to set up some plays. Uh, CC wise, we've got the box. We can hook people into the wall of that for CC. We really don't have a lot of CC. So me being able to go in with an E or something, I feel is going to be a uh, necessity. I don't like wasting my ward early. Now we can get cheesed by Shaco. Said so you went tank because of how good the enemy champs were in your other video. Do you go tank mostly based on the tier of champs you're playing against? Uh, Logan, a lot of it is how much CC they have with how much burst damage they have. That's typically how I will justify a tank build. But yeah, champion tier is probably the most annoying part. <laughs> okay! Okay! They're just gonna troll level 1 and let us kill them both? Thanks guys, appreciate it. I don't know what that was. Since they started playing into our minions though, they couldn't keep trading. Not with Glacial Senna, they just don't have enough damage there. Okay. Is Glacial Senna a thing? Yeah, I, I actually play Glacial Senna support. I think the Q slows are amazing. Uh, because your Q applies on hit effects as Senna. Most, anyway. I don't know if it uses Sheen. But it will apply slows from Glacial Augment. And it will do other things. It might apply Sheen. Maybe. I don't know. Let's use the alcove to our advantage. JK. As I wanted to use the alcove, Thresh actually walked up. Ah! That was a nice try. Yeah. 
Damn. Damn! Okay, let's get this. We gotta get some Merc Treads. So I greeted. We knew Thresh had abilities up. I walked in hoping I could flip her to Yi. And... Yeah, I don't know. I could eat one tower shot there, just not two. Yeah, building building Glacial on Senna for ADC roll, um, it is more utility, but they've got all damage champions. So it's not going to be bad. Okay, I, I done goofed. I shouldn't have walked forward after getting that. So this game, um, a Frozen Heart's gonna be really good. What? Is, yeah, it's gonna be AP Shaco as well. So Frozen Heart into Maw, and then probably Full Lethality after that. But getting those two tank items early gonna be good this game. They're probably getting shit on unless they get massive gank support. Honest, like, they're a strong lane. Don't underestimate them. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Okay, never mind. Thresh did all the damage. Really thought we could fight there. We got her flash. I don't think she had mana there, right? And now she's got a ton of mana. Presence of mind. Yeah, I don't know, man. Thought we could fight because she was Zoom. I'm only level 4, though. I'm not going to be able to stop he. And he's at a good XP. I don't know, I really thought we'd win that fight. Even though they were level up, this is all she had. She only had a, a Doran's Blade. So losing that fight there was really awkward. Even though I guess Thresh did most of the damage. Had a mute now. Yikes.
Hey, I think I know why his Shin Shin doesn't like me. Because I create more pressure than him. XD. Gotta be it, right? Oh, shit. And Jin can't predict that he's going to walk back. Three fucking times. Uh. Nobody. I've never survived Ignite with Triumph before. Touch me. Tank, so I can't even execute. Nuts. What? Oh, he's got armor. Oh boy. Shaco Z did 525 Dark Harvest. Yikes. Okay, I'm gonna leave bot. Jin doesn't do any damage to Thresh. And uh, we have no jungle presence bot like they do. So, and tower's gone. So there's no reason to go back down there. What are objective timers? We got Rift Herald up. Let's go play up there.
So they took control of top side there. Fresh hook is down. Boy. Arguing over his champions. Oh, it's just dumber. Like, ye calling out a Shaco. This champion's so dumb. Bad things are a happening. Very nice. Let's go get hey, our ma. Okay, we're set. So at this point, we have really, really bad move speed. We need to get something to offset that. So the first item that you can either think of here, we want CDR. We're at 30%. We would love to cap out. So move speed items are going to be either Ghost Blade or Dead Man's Plate. And I really think Ghost Blade here is going to be my go-to. got too much tenacity for him. Hell yeah. And guys, that is why you stack tenacity. Thresh only gets one pull. He only gets one pull on his Q instead of two. We're at 61% tenacity right now. We are pretty hard to CC.
Tanky. Man, anybody, like, if I didn't have Ma there, who would have killed me? Good game. Let's check our damage. Full tank pike. We didn't get a damage item until we got that maw completed. We were going to go for boob speed something next. I like that build. Yeah, if you're playing first thresh, if you're not super snowballed ahead, you, you gotta go tank. There's too much CC there. Anytime he hooked me, like you can play into the hooks and you can counter on his hooks because of the amount of tenacity you have. You're not CC'd long enough for, for you to die, especially if you're going tank build. 7, 6, 11, pretty good score. Let's check graph, and then we'll go over to runes. 8, 7, 6, 2, not a ton of damage. We did more than Thresh. We did almost as much as Echo. Pretty good. And runes, these are the runes we ran for this game, guys. First high CC in the bot lane. Take the Aftershock. Uh, especially if you're against another Aftershock user, you've got to have Aftershock. Legend of Tenacity, Triumph. Get that unflinching. But that's it. We're going to go next. Hey guys, just wanted to give a big shout out to Joshua Titsworth. Thank you for your support as our one godlike member. And if you guys are interested in having your name at the end of our videos, hit that join button. Thanks for watching, guys.